welcome boys and girls ladies and gentlemen in today excel video my friend is going to show you some amazing stuff which is based on the real life problem and i am your friend senzo so let's begin the show <laughs> what a surprise to have you senzo and welcome my friends and in today's video i'll be showing you the text join problem with the if function we have a solution also for that but let us look what is the problem and this is a real life problem so i have received a list and where my friend was trying to combine some names and this was the company code and the employee names so you have multiple company codes so whatever the company codes are matching he just wanted to wrap it into the text join and there's nothing wrong with that so we'll be just using the text join function saying that the delimiter is comma and again comma and i'll be saying that yes ignore that empty cells of course and if my logic this is the logic where i'm going to build it saying that my company code equals to 101 comma then return me this name of the employees or let's just keep this as a blank closing the parentheses and we got the result the problem with this formula is a logic issue now here if you see that we are having the name 101 that company code and we have a blank value so if i have 101 over here i'm still getting sara and sam now let me remove sara so we got 0 sam comma 0 for his reporting purpose this is not what he was looking i had a solution for him and we are going to see that and even for you my friends let us understand the logic what happens first so what i'm doing is i'm selecting the company code and equals to 101 so as you can see that this is a new calculation engine for the dynamic arrays it has spilled the results into my rows now i'm checking that every 101 should be available in the list so wherever the 101 is there i'm getting the true results so let's change this to 100 i'm getting this results as false so these two rows has the results 101 and when i'm applying that if function and i'm saying that logic pressing by the pound key it is going to return me the name of the employees that is what we are looking okay so we have missed out perfect so now this is giving me blanks instead of false so as you can see that this is that zero result so again we'll put 101 so we got that zero and again when we put 100 over here the zero is gone now we need to slightly change our logic over here so what we are going to do is that we are going to say that if this column is equal to blank but we have a good function which says that is blank that will check the logic and say that yes this is blank so now we are getting the results of this column saying that whether it's blank or it's not blank so when it is blank it is returning the value as true but now this logic we need to reverse it so we want to turn wherever the trues are there we want to make sure that those are false so all we have to do is just go over here and wrap this up and we are going to use another function that is called not so not will reverse the logic whatever is true it will turn into false and false into true now let me show it to you what happens when we are multiplying these columns so i'm going to multiply this column pressing the pound key multiply this column pound key perfect so we are getting that results true and false and we are getting exactly this row what we needed to capture in the text join if i have to remove that logic of not see what happens it is just capturing the value which is blank and that is the one which we don't need it 1 multiplied by 0 you will get 0 and 1 multiplied by 1 you will get a 1 so that's the reason you are seeing the value as 1 over here now this is a wonderful logic we have now and we are going to copy this logic what we have created over here the entire logic control x and let me go over here and just wrap it into parentheses neatly multiplying it again with the logic what we have created for the blank one voila we have this multiplication for trues and false i'm just going to wrap this into an if function so if this is my logic comma and if the value is true then you have to make sure that you return me this or just return me the blank values close parentheses cross your fingers 
because we're gonna see some magic now. Perfect. So we just got the results of the SAM now and this logic will help us to create that text join. So again, we are going to go to text join, quotes, comma, quotes, comma. Ignore the empty cells, that's true. Now this time it is going to ignore the empty cell because there is no value called zero over here. And we're going to paste that logic over here. And again, close the parentheses, enter, we got the value of Sam. So let's test it out. Tina, perfect. Let's change the company code. Perfect, so this is working fine. And again, we are going to keep it 101 in the blank and there is no change in the results. So this is how we solve this problem with slightly changing our logic. Every problem has a solution and there are n number of solutions available. You have to see what suits best for you, what is easy and convenient for you. And with this note, and I just want to wish you all a very happy new year. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourself. And thank you so much, my friends, for showing your love and support on this channel and always being over here. And my friend Zenzo would like to take the floor and I'll be seeing you in the next video. So you are here. That means you like my work. You like this video. So now all you have to do is press that like button, share button, subscribe button, bell button, press all the buttons on the screen. <laughs> because this is the last video of 2020. And I'll be seeing you soon next year. And all I have to say, thank you everyone for your support and a very happy new year. Stay safe. See you soon. And Rama, get my horses ready because we want to do party. <laughs> happy new year. <laughs>